I just moved to Gotland, which is this beautiful island off the east coast of Sweden in the Baltic Ocean. And there's lots of limestone here, there are lots of sheep, strawberry fields, there are medieval ruins in the middle of the biggest city of Visby, and which I'm excited about long sandy beaches with waves to surf. Just 15 minutes south of Visby where you will arrive with the boat when you get here, there's this magical place called Surflhuet, which is a tent hotel, glamping tents, you know, fancy camping, such cozy tents. And it's also a restaurant, beach bar, they have a sauna, and which I'm super excited about, it's also a surf lodge. So they have surfing lessons, they rent surfboards, and they have um, stand-up paddle tours. I've always wanted to learn how to surf, but growing up in Sweden, it isn't really a thing here. And I tried surfing, few times, quite many times actually, when I lived in Cape Town. I took some lessons and I tried once when I was in the Philippines last year, but I still kind of suck. But, <laughs> you know, you can learn anything. If you want something in life, you just gotta go and make it happen yourself. So you can't just sit around and wait for something to happen. You have to go out and get it, you know, take the steps that will get you there. So that's kind of what I feel like when it comes to surfing. I've been afraid to try because it seems so difficult and I thought that you would have to learn it as a child to be able to do it. And frankly, I just haven't felt cool enough. <laughs> it feels like you have to be this special person like uh, you know the surfer image and everything but I've learned that it's never too late to learn something new and surfing is a sport and you can learn how to do it and you can get better at it letting fear keep you from trying things things you dream about will only leave you with regret so that's it I'm surfing The thing about surfing in Sweden though is that unlike other surf spots where there is a consistency of waves, waves here are completely dependent on wind, you know, weather. So right now it's the middle of July and it's kind of uh, nice and pleasant weather, so there is no waves to surf. But we're going to Surflöhet tonight anyway because we're going to do stand-up paddling. They have this sunset stand-up paddling where you pedal out into the sunset and it's supposed to be just magical. So we're really looking forward to that. And then later, when the conditions are better, we're going back to Surflöhet and we're going to get a surf lesson and try some real wave surfing. I've never tried stand-up paddling, but I've heard that it's a super good workout for your entire body. And, you know, standing on a board balancing must be good practice for wave surfing, right? Like real surfing. You just gotta have to do what you can with the conditions you have and everything will turn out great in the end. So that's where we're going now. And the weather is great. Wetsuit on, let's go. or maybe more living in vans like old vans look at that that's so dreamy that's amazing and we're here we're so stoked Sitting here waiting for our food before the stand up panel, and it's amazing.
So now we're on the beach and here are the boards that we are going to use and we will meet up in about five minutes. Essentially we are paddling towards the sun, the sunset and then we're just gonna lie out there and we're gonna watch the sun go down and it's going to be magical we hope <laughs> i can't wait <laughs> yeah, so this is this is the pub i'm going to go to the pub but this is the pub if you go in here if you go in here you can go in here you can go in here you can go in here and on the pub we have to hold so här. Så man håller en hand där och en hand nere så paddlar man så här. Det är inte så. Då blir det ring en kraft. Man ska vända det så att den är vinklad så där när man paddlar. Så det är så måste man ju paddla lite på varje sida. Man kan inte bara paddla. Nu är det säkert paddla. Det kan inte komma till förut. Så ni vet ju. Man paddlar på varje sida. Och sen när ni kommer ut här på vattnet så får bära ut den lite. Så fenan inte nuddar stranden. Så jag här, man sätter sig på knä. Så här på upp i mitten. Så paddlar man lite. Sätter man sig där på knä. Sen när man ställer sig. När du ser resan man sig upp på knä så här. Så lägger man paddeln. Ner på där och så. Här tar man ena foten. Och andra foten. Ut på knä på. Paddler height. Um, I think this is okay. <laughs> okay, so yeah. So we're back from paddling and it was awesome. It was magical like I thought it would be. It's just, just look at it. It's amazing. It's awesome. And we got quite far out. So I don't know, maybe further out than we were supposed to. I don't know. But this guy showed up on a What's it called? Jet ski! <laughs> he showed up on a jet ski and he was like We're worried about you here uh, There's this wind and everything and it's going to get really dark soon and stuff But I don't know, we were fine But it's nice of people to care <laughs> So now we're going to go home and sleep Sleep really well Fast forward one year later And this is me um, the current me and as I was editing the video I was thinking that I need to do some kind of conclusion or update at the end of it and I was going to say something along the lines of well back then I had such high hopes and I was like yay let's surf in Sweden let's do what nobody else does and everything and I was gonna say that <laughs> I hadn't learned how to surf in Sweden, which I haven't and I was also going to say that I had a really bad experience 
and I tried to go out in the storm <laughs> and it didn't go that well. I was also going to say that I still believe that you can surf in Sweden but that it's not that beginner friendly and that I've in a way satisfied my I want to learn a cool new sport kind of by learning how to roller skate and all of that is true but then a few days ago we went out with the surfboard to the beach where we live now we, we don't live on the island anymore I should have mentioned that uh, we now live on the west coast of Sweden where um, there's also some kind of surfing culture maybe more kite surfing and windsurfing and, and stuff like that but still there are some wave surfers I've heard anyway so we went to the beach with a surfboard and well there were waves and they were okay and um, at, at first I felt like wow this is gonna go exactly like it did when I uh, I tried surfing a few months ago when it was cold and there was a storm but it actually went quite well so now I'm actually thinking that I'm going to make a part two more of a one event kind of video with some cinematics and stuff like that um, it won't be like an epic surf video because we really we, we can't really surf me and my friend um, we just really want to and um, yeah so you'll see a video of us trying and it it actually goes kind of well yeah you'll see so just just subscribe and turn on the notification bell and you will get notified when that video is out and uh, it's not going to take a year I'm in a much better routine now uh, editing video wise and stuff so um, it won't take a year I'm not making promises but it won't take a year so yeah thank you so much for watching this and um, go out there grab a board even if you live in Sweden just be careful and don't expect anything miraculous to happen but you can yeah just try it go to go to Gotland please visit Surflukhirit it's so incredibly nice there to just have a drink relax hang out and watch that incredible sunset and I really do recommend that sunset SUP paddling tour it was magical and I'll see you in the next video